There are three common forms of electricity that people are familiar with. There's DC, or direct current, AC, alternating current, and static electricity. Now the first two of these are used in the electrical devices in your home. Electricity generally works by pushing electrons down a wire, much like water flowing down a hose pipe. The more electrons pass a point in a given time, the greater the current is. This is different from voltage, which is basically how hard the electrons are actually being pushed. If the wire the electrons have to flow down is thin, uh, like the filament in an incandescent light bulb, then the electrons have difficulty flowing down the wire, and this is what we call resistance. These three factors are linked, so if you change one of these, you end up changing one of the others. You're most likely to encounter direct current in the form of a battery. Direct current flows steadily and in the same direction but at almost constant voltage. This makes it ideal for sensitive electronics, which might be vulnerable to be damaged by a less regular flow of electricity. Alternating current is the form most generally used by mains of electricity mainly due to the ease of transmission and the ease of generation. Reasons why it's called alternating current is that the electrons flow one way, then alternate back the other way, down the wire. This process continues to swap either 50 or 60 times per second. The current flow can be smoothed by having multiple wires supplying the current being slightly out of phase with each other. Whilst this is okay for the majority of the appliances, the current may require an adapter for devices like, say, a laptop computer. Then there's static electricity, which by its name implies that unlike the other forces, it isn't actually moving. Instead, it generally collects on the surface of an object. The electrons which are responsible for static electricity have been swapped from one surface to another. When two substances are in contact with each other, they can form a very weak chemical bond with each other as they adhere to each other. Then, as they become separated, some electrons are left behind on one substance, which has a stronger grip on some of the shared electrons. Differences in chemical makeup of the substances or even environmental factors can affect the rate of transfer of these electrons. But once the charge has been built up, it can be discharged when in contact with a conductor or it can hold an object in place like a balloon. So that an interaction into the forms of electricity.